friends. Friends, days before my trip to Colorado with the pros closet, a new bike, a new two wheeled electric powered specimen showed up in this shed and I went hog wild putting it together so that I could play with it as quickly as possible. And it is this thing. This is the Ride One Up Roadster V2. It is a single speed belt drive, road bike, like kind of stealthy looking e-bike. It doesn't really look like an e-bike. Like my, my previous e-bike had the big battery here. Like you could tell it was an e-bike. This, when it's just kind of sitting here, it doesn't look that way. And that's kind of the reason I wanted it over the other one that I had. It reminds me a lot of riding a fixed gear, but um, I am finding myself, I don't love how narrow the bars that come with it are. And I think waking it up, you know, it could really be super woken up by changing the tires. Okay, in the stand. I think a 32 will fit in here. I measured these tires and these Kendas measure 31 something inflated and they say 28 on them. So nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the fork all the way out because I'm gonna use this data stem and I know that the clamp, the stack of this data stem is shorter than this. I don't really want to add more spacers to this. I'd prefer remove spacers. So I'm going to cut the fork down a little bit and then, uh, and then I'll actually gain some spacers to throw into the drawer. Well, that's not the straightest cusp because really run any spacers. Okay, so here's the bar on. Before I go any further, I do, I really wanna see if these uh, 32 mil Panracer Gravel Kings, special edition color, once a year, will fit. So these heavy Kendas off. This wheel is actually not as heavy as I thought it would be. That's good. This is gonna work. This is absolutely going to work. Flawless. Flawless! Sick did this turn out though. All right, let's go uh, cover it in dirt and dust and take it places it's not designed to go to, but it's here, it's with me, and that's what we're doing. Obviously a few noteworthy changes here. The stem, well, the data stem seemed a little short, so I swapped it out for one of my zip stems and on the SPDs and putting the SPDs on it's gone from feeling like the heavy 36 pounds that it is to a much lighter nimbler machine definitely the right upgrades relatively similar to my track lacrosse bike in the way of tires, handlebar width, stand up, like all that kind of stuff, except for the fact that this is obviously not fixed gear and it has a motor. But because they feel so similar, I cannot help but go to this single track trail and just see how quickly I can go through it on level five. There we go, big entry. <laughs> There's a added level of complexity. Complexity? 
because you have to pedal to get any power down. And if you're not pedaling, there's no power coming out of the motor and no power coming out of the gear. Also, my tires are at 80 PSI. Okay, there we go, there we go. Not bad. Decent line choice is gonna be my friend here. That was pretty good. Oh. Oh. The funny thing about this controller is I don't think there's really, whoa, tree. Oh. Okay, the uh, funny thing about this controller is I don't think there is a controller. There's nothing on this setup with the brakes that if you touch the brakes it cuts power to the motor so if i'm mid pedal and then hit the brakes it'll still drive me forward which is just a another additional level of excitement Ugh. i won't be surprised if i have a flat there you go there you go <laughs> Do inexperienced riders buy e-mountain bikes and expect to not die? What if you didn't know how to anticipate anything? I wonder if I can ride this. Oh yeah. Nice. <gasps> oh. I do have a flat. <laughs> I deserve that. It is the day after yesterday, the next day, if you will. The flat tire problem <laughs> is solved. It's a little rainier today, but I cannot help but feel like it's just a fun experiment to go do a regular road ride, 25-ish kilometer long, with a fair amount of hills. Road ride on this thing, leave it on power. I, uh, I wanna get an idea of what kind of mileage we can get out of it on that moderate power. Maybe we'll leave it on like level three. There's five power modes. Let's, uh, let's take the trail. There's a trail that just like follows the road. This road's kind of busy, so you know what? We've got gravel tires on. Let's use them. stuff on side the trails like any bike can be fun and on to the road So up to this point, I've just kind of left it in level two. Maybe taking the edge off of what is, I think a pretty bad headwind. I, I don't know, maybe. Um, this hill I actually complain about sometimes. I've got it in level five now. Uh, yeah, not a problem coming up this time. How's the beach today? Uh, not as muddy as I was hoping, but whatever. Whoa. 32s are fine. I do have a lot of air in them. I am nervous about getting another flat, but this thing definitely handles its own for having road calipers on and a nice set of tires. All good. And then we come down to a beach. Who doesn't love to see a good beach? Avoid these rocks. Not looking for another flat. Didn't bring my phone. Can't call Angela. Wow. Whoa. Look at that. C'est beau. C'est assez beau. Le plage. En français, c'est le plage. <laughs> I 
I was trying to set up a comment there where I was like, oh, this is 36 pounds. It's not as bad as other e-bikes to carry down eroding cliffs. I fell down though. Not the bike's fault. Riding wise, I don't think there's anything I would really change other than for this area. I'd love to have like a, an easier gear, especially when not using the pedal assist. Um, I actually started looking up if there's different sprocket sizes that I can get, but I don't actually understand the difference between like a Gates setup and like this isn't a Gates belt. So I don't think that stuff's necessarily interchangeable. Instead of a 63 tooth, maybe like a, even a 55 or something, or maybe like get a bigger cog on the rear, that 20 tooth. It's, it is a tough gear, especially for a 36 pound bike. Obviously with pedal assist, not a big deal, but for what I have planned, I wanna try and ride this thing 300 kilometers to my hometown. I wanna go visit my parents on it. That's what I told Ride One Up that I wanted to do with it. And they were like, that sounds amazing. I'd love to see you try that. But the other thing aesthetically that I would love to see change on this is instead of having that horizontal top tube, I'd love to see a more compact geometry. Like take that top tube down from like here to here and, and bring it to here. Like make it match up with the seat stays. It would fit people better. I'd be able to stand over it a little better. I've got very short legs. And personally, in my mind, it would look better. I like the way a compact geometry bike looks. This is a good looking bike. It could be so much more pro looking, so much, in my opinion, better looking, just with a change in top tube slope. Compact geometry is the way to go. Okay, time to redeem myself going back up here. See, the only reason I fell is because it's, it's breaking up rock. See, not the bike's fault. See if we can make it up this climb with some pretty decent pedal assist. 350 watts of pedal assist. Death right here. It's hard to get momentum when there's death. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, well, I can't see this not working. This is a laughable, no problem. I just need to make sure the pedals are moving and I'm um, good. Yeah, even level five is actually maybe a little too aggressive. Level two is maybe not enough. Has level three. You know what, let's just go to level five again. It's more fun that way. Burn all the battery, all the... Yes! Okay, so I know for a fact there's mud in here, so let's go play in it. See what these tires can do. And uh, thanks, kid. See what this motor can do on stuff that I have ridden on the roster cross. How is there not any mud right now? What the hell? Okay, let's see if we can at least get up this, which we have gotten up on the roster cross. Yes. Can. a normal bike for sure um, a different kind of fun if you will I hope I hope you found this entertaining I know uh, some of you don't exactly love when there's electric powered bikes here on this channel but uh, any review that I've watched of bikes similar to this um, they're just kind of dry like people it's just b-roll of people riding around in flat areas and basically reading the brochure for you. Um, I hope beating the crap out of this, changing a couple things on it, kind of opens your eyes a little more to uh, what a, I think this thing's like $1,100, to the possibilities that are actually possible with a bike like this. 
versus uh, the like really dry kind of boring reviews that you normally see. So that ride, it did fully kill the battery. So I got about 17 miles out of it, but not exactly easy or nice miles. The way 1UP describes this bike, what do you think of my hair? Is that it's a, a flat city commuter that uh, you wouldn't want to ride on hills. So they quote 20 to 30 miles. We got 17 miles, which is not a unit that I am used to talking about. I am Canadian, typically talking kilometers, but I don't know how many kilometers that is. Okay, I can only ramble on so long for people who are no longer here. So that is the end of this movie.